This is one of my favorite segments. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. I know it's one of your favorite too, right? It is. And there's That's our music. Fun. The controversy. That's yes. the fun part, right? So what do we got today, Mandy? So several school districts in Massachusetts are considering making community service hours a requirement for high school and middle school graduation. So you, so to graduate, you have to do community service hours. That's right. So um, some school districts are trying it out different ways. Middle school, four to ten hours in order to pass through, and then um, in high school, they're saying that you need at least forty hours to graduate. And what do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down on that, Mandy Kimball? I think that it's a great idea. So, so thumbs I'm, up. I'm you thumbs, like community service hours? I'm thumbs up. I understand that. Hey, if they're forcing you to do it, is it community service and is it just a requirement? I I understand it but you're helping people out you're getting exposed to different situations um, that you potentially might not be and yeah so I, I think it's good hopefully they'll they'll find a passion and stick with it and it won't just be about require the requirement of hours give a thumbs up to the camera Mandy because you did thumbs up thumbs so. up Tao Costas is in the studio Tao is the president and CEO of search Tao, how are you doing today I'm well thank you good, good you come in here and we're putting you right in the middle of the Thanks thumbs up thumbs us. down argument yes. what are you thinking on this one what do you, you think we should be forcing our kids to do community <laughs> service well, you know, I, I agree that there is a lot of value to it. Um, I do know that um, also many of our families do are challenged by, um, you know, supervision and appropriate transportation and all that for the children to have the right exposure. So perhaps, you know, defining what community service means, um, what it could include. It could be helping your neighbor or would that qualify or does it have to be with a specific you know, specific nonprofit or, you know, yeah, yeah. so give I'm guessing it's going to be with specific nonprofits because otherwise then you'll have high schoolers saying, yeah, That's hey, true. I helped I help that old lady across the street. <laughs> it took an hour. So that was, yeah, uh, I guess it does have to have a little bit of boundaries. And <laughs> so. Yeah, but you're giving sort of a, a thumbs yeah, up of thumbs sorts. Up, sure. uh, you know what? Uh, we have a couple more phone calls that I'm going to get to. I'm going to go thumbs down thumbs on this. Down. You know, I'm thinking that uh, we should be focusing on community service in our schools. But the minute you start forcing something, I wonder if then it becomes something like, oh, another requirement. And when indeed community service should be a volunteer effort. In other words, we should be thinking about doing community service regardless of whether it's a requirement or not. So I am all in favor of community service, but I guess I'm thinking maybe not as a requirement, 